not playing well enough to win and can come in a lot of different, uh, you know, ways, turnovers and um, just missed opportunities. I think that's what it comes down to. Too many plays where we've got opportunities to do stuff with it and, uh, and we don't. So uh, it's football. I mean, it's wish it were outcomes were different, obviously, this week, last week, but um, just have to get back to work. All right, Cece, what was your reaction to the uh, Patriots falling to the Steelers yesterday? Uh, a couple of things. I was totally shocked by the number of penalties um, that they had, not only the yardage, um, but the frequency, the number of penalties that they had. Um, that's not like a new, um, like a New England team. But this Pittsburgh team was moving quick. So a lot of the penalties, I'm not, you never make excuses for penalties, but I understood a lot of them because it had to do with a lot of the offensive line being a half beat, half a step with that great crowd. And I was totally shocked by their offense struggling against this defense. Even, um, say, the first drive, their drives went like this. Three plays, even though they had the big play. After that, no more big plays, but their drives went like this. Three plays, five plays, five plays, three plays, six plays, four plays. So mm -hmm. in their first six drives there, not generating but seven points, how are you gonna win an NFL game like that? So the Pittsburgh Steelers and what they did defensively definitely kept New England off balance, but I was shocked by those two items, offensive inconsistency and a number of penalties. And we talked going into this, the Pats have owned the Steelers. They've won seven of eight. Since 2013, see, the Pats were averaging, what, 35 points per game mm -hmm. against Pittsburgh. And while the Pats have struggled on the road this year, it's been their defense, most notably, that struggled on the road. I. This is a different Pats team right now in really foreign territory for them. They've got five losses already. They haven't had five losses in the season since 09. Not coincidentally, that is the last year they didn't have a bye. Right now, they're not in position to have a bye. They, they're nine and five right now. They were 27 and five the last two years going into the postseason. They were at a 14 and two year and a 13 and three year. Like we are, oh, the Patriots, don't worry about them in September because you don't want to play them in December. Well, that hadn't been true this year either. Like there is not a lot that looks Patriot esque except for the uniforms. Brady is, he, he was trying to throw the ball away and didn't have the arm strength to throw it away, makes a critical error. You know how this, how this Steeler game ends each of the last five years, Jenna? When they're up 14, when the Steelers up 14-10, the Patriots drive and score a touchdown. And it, oh, they don't, and the Steelers kick that field goal. Guess what happens? The Patriots tie the game with 10 seconds left, a it's huge a stomach punch, you just know and then they happen. win in overtime. It, yeah. I was watching and I was like, okay, this is going to be an interesting new way to have this for the Steelers to have their hearts ripped out of their chest. But that's that's not what happened. And credit to the Steelers defense, aside from the one bust on the Chris Hogan wide open 60 plus yard touchdown. The defense played as well as the defense can play against the Pats. When the Patriots don't play that well but win, we say, oh, it's because of number 12. But when the Patriots are losing far more than we've seen them lose, how much of, of this season, the woes, the road woes especially, would you place on number 12? Well, they're just not, they're not as explosive. I mean, Tom Brady, Brandon Cooks, they miss him on the outside. When you trade Brandon Cooks for the last three seasons in a row, a thousand yard receiver consistently for a Josh Gordon, a troubled Josh Gordon, is that an even swap? No, Nate Soder, their left tackle, we haven't talked about their offensive line, but you can start to see they having problems on the offensive line being able to protect Brady, having a consistent running game. So there are a number of things. There's a reason why they've had over 33 wide receivers in there either trying out to be a wide receiver and on the this roster since the spring because they don't have a whole bunch of explosive players. Deion Lewis left in free agency to go with the Titans. So they're missing that total product productivity from those two players. You can start to see it. This is not something they typically struggle with, especially late in the season. Late in the season, they already have an identity. This is what they're going to do. And if you take Sony Michelle away from them, man, they struggle. Gronk can't run. So their ability to threaten the football field deep down the field, they don't have it and they can't do it consistently. And you can see defense is starting to understand and get closer to Tom. That's why he hadn't been as effective that we've seen him the last couple years. It's only the second time in the last 15 years this Patriot team is gonna finish below 500 on the road. They're done with road games now. They're three and five. The, the only other time was that 09 season when they went 10 and six and got blasted in the playoffs by Ray Rice and the Baltimore Ravens. They, that playoff game started with a Ray Rice 80 yard touchdown run and the Patriots really never got closer than that moment. I, 
The best thing the Pats have going for them right now is that the Chiefs and Chargers are in the same division. The best thing they have going for them is that the two teams with 11 wins that are 11 and three, only one of them can get a bye. And all they need is the, the Texans to stumble and all of a sudden they can be 11 and five and have that be good enough for the two seed because they have the tiebreaker with the Texans. So it, it the sky isn't falling in New England because of some things that they didn't necessarily earn, so some good fortune, but it is this team, I do not think a team that has struggled like this on the road can win consecutive road playoff games against really good teams. That's what they would have to do if they stay the three seed. Right now, the Patriots, in addition to having to take care of the Jets and the Bills at home, they need to hope the Texans slip up in the next couple weeks or else they will be the three seed. But this is two back-to-back -back games, uncharacteristic losses for this Patriots team. Not something we've seen, especially under the Brady-Belichick era. Take a break, coming up, can Khalil Mack carry the Bears to the Super Bowl?